Efficiency is the ability to accomplish something with a minimal loss of time and effort. I define productivity as being able to produce results. It is notable that efficiency can directly influence productivity. So if efficiency can be maximized, it would impact the ability to produce results. It may be asked now, how can efficiency be maximized? Well, one method that I find rather useful is the application of the Pareto Principle, whether it be in my studies, pursuit of goals, daily routine, or even more. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, is an observation that states that 20% of the causes result in 80% of the effects. In other words, 20% of the effort leads to 80% of the results. It was named after the Italian economist and engineer, Alfredo Pareto, who realized that 80% of the wealth in 20th century Italy possess, was possessed by 20% of the population. I typically apply this in terms of schoolwork to reflect that a smaller portion of the total work I may put in a task may account for a large portion or majority of the results. So if I can identify the most essential parts of a task and complete them, then it would lead to better results considering constraints to my time and resources. For example, assignments are consistently given in school. Each assignment would usually have a different deadline or due date. So it would be beneficial to complete the ones with earlier due dates. If a large project is given, working in small increments would allow it to be completed with less instances of large work periods like completing an entire essay the day before it's due. While physically completing assignments, identifying small ways to limit distractions would lead to an increase in focus, which would cause productivity to increase. In general, when completing assignments, start with what is critically asked for, because people naturally look for key points in the answers to the questions that they ask. There are even more general applications of the Pareto Principle to everyday life. Did you know that a child learns more in the earlier stages of their life, from birth to about five years old, than in their entire life? This is because these early years are when they learn the most fundamental aspects of living life. Things like walking, talking, or even eating. The later content learned in life is usually less notable or crucial to living life in the long run, because it is far more likely that you'll remember how to use a spoon consistently through childhood and adulthood than every little or even large aspect of what you learn in the history classes in school. Um, apologies to all the history teachers I've ever had. <laughs> I was once told that the 100 most common words in the English language account for about 50% of English vernacular and text. There are over 150,000 words in the English language and just 100 of them, 100, account for about half of spoken and written English. Now, I find this fascinating, but I am also rather certain that little to no people use the words hullabaloo, sanguine, or rapscallion on a regular basis. <laughs> so yeah, certain aspects are definitely more crucial to the results than others. On a more personal note, I'm a sprinter, so it is necessary that I have strength in my lower body. So when it comes to exercise, every day is leg day. <laughs> or at least, every day should be leg day. So really, it is necessary for you to recognize what is crucial to reaching your outcome or goal. Um, while I was making this, this speech, I found myself in positions where I was really pressed for time. So I even made these note cards to help me better communicate my, my message. So I, I even watched different TEDx talks to help me get the feel of how to give one. And while I was watching them, one thing really stuck out to me. Very, very few of them use note cards. So I started thinking to myself, my speech isn't good enough. I didn't put enough effort into this. But then I realized, What's more important, that I put every last ounce of effort into this speech, into making it look as good as possible, <laughs> or that I can express my point in a fashion that you would be able to understand it, would be able to apply it to everyday life. 
So if you walk away from this speech with one thing, remember this. Prioritize what is absolutely crucial in regards to the achievement of your envisioned outcome. Because if this concept of the Pareto Principle in doing what is absolutely essential can be applied, then an impact on efficiency and productivity will certainly be made. If we as a society can implement the Pareto Principle, then how much of an impact on total output would be made? Only we can tell. Thank you.